I'm Ronaldo Torres. This is Sheet Metal Workers on the Cutting Edge. When the beer starts flowing at 10.30 in the morning, you know, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, everybody's feeling pretty good. You are wonderful. God bless. Well. We've got um, Nick Maldarelli, who just recently retired and who's yeah. just been honored by Local 28 School being named after him, and now Local 28's training center in Jamaica is now called the Nicholas Madalorelli Training Center. And here's Nikki. Nikki. Hi, Owen. All right. It's, it's good to see you. you. Yeah. Nikki, isn't this a wonderful day? It's always. This is seven, for 17 years. I don't think I missed one. Let me tell you, it's, it's, it's one of the best affairs that Local 28 has. It is. I mean, because it's a time where you, you meet. I know most of them anyway, because I, you know, these kids grow up with me. But you get to meet their families, their children, uh, you see them act together, and that's what makes this union great. It's that real togetherness that we have. On the job, off the job, and in play. The people that I met in Local 20, I'm retired now, I'm 50 years in this business. The people that I met during my years in Local 28 are the people that I associate with now that are retired besides them. Uh, besides me, the two of us, or the four of us, or the six of us, we have a club that we go traveling, we became international travels. And when you retire from Local 28, it's such a great, great thing that it's like a new door that you go through that is the best door that you'll ever go through. Retiring from Local 28 is luxury. I mean, two pensions, annuities, and we have this great club. We become international travelers. It's hard doing this, Ronaldo. You'll see when you some I, I, yeah, I can uh, see. Traveling, hard decisions. Where to go when you travel, playing golf all day, hanging out on the beach, uh, where we're going to eat, what restaurant, and all done with no problem at all. Thanks to Local News 28. Great local, great picnic. Great everything. Well, God bless you. God bless, but local as lo 28. God bless Local 28, and what I always preach to the apprentices is I tell the apprentices to stay healthy because your body is what's going to take you to all these places around the world to the beach and if you don't take care of your body now Absolutely. your body's not going to be there for you in those days that you really appreciate life the Absolutely. most and how you could you could really eat the fruits of your labor and that's with local 28 retirement and you're right about you know what good is retiring if you, if you don't have your health but with your health and, and you want to know something working as working as a uh, as a, a worker in local 20 you work hard there's no question about it but it's a healthy work it's a healthy work and it and it builds you up for the future i tell you i i'm going to be seven years old next month and uh i still feel like i'm 22. Okay. I mean, uh, it's uh i travel i play golf i do whatever i have to do and i do it but you still always find time for union activities which makes you a good union man oh, yeah. 
You know, that's what it's all about. Be it unionism, being a good union man, and supporting Local 28 because Local 28 has really given us things that we couldn't achieve without it. Well, you know, I've seen it with my grandfather. My father, my grandfather was a Local 28 man before it was Local 28. My father was in it. I'm in it. I even put, I I love it so much. I put two sons in this business. And you want to some? I hope they put their sons in. We all make great lives out of ourselves. We all make great livings. Uh, I mean, what can you ask for? I mean, you talk about a good job, this was the best. Unions, without unions, this country is nothing. It was the unions who built this country. A lot of people try to forget that. They think it just came about. Unions built America. Thanks a lot, Take Nick. care of yourself. You're Mike. wonderful. You're the best. I have a question. What do you think of Ronaldo's TV show? What do I think of it? Well... Ronaldo knows, because I, I seen it when it started with Ronaldo. I was always in favorite. I love it. I think he's doing okay, one of the best jobs. By the way, Local 28, out of all the international, this was the first local that had a TV show. And you want to say, and I love that. We're always number one. Local 28, New York City, is always number one. Ronaldo's keeping it number one. Actually, he keeps it above number one. If there's a number above number one, I don't know. But whatever he does, it's spectacular. Now we're all in the, we have the TV show in the whole five boroughs right now, including Long Island and Nassau and Suffolk County. And on the internet. And on the internet. He puts it on the internet, he, he shows the movies. You know, he's so far advanced with, uh, you, you wouldn't think he was a Shima worker. And he's, uh, he's it's really, I'll tell you, it's great. Five or six years from now, people, when they get into computers and they get into this here stuff, they'll find out how far he was ahead of his time. Well, actually, actually, uh, I would have to say, and I'll say it for the audience, that you actually were an, a big influence in what we're doing and the inception of the television show because you really taught me everything I knew about computers. You introduced me to computers. And when we had the concept of the television show, you know, it was only an idea. I ran it by Nikki. And Nikki encouraged me to go ahead and do it, and, um, and thank God for that. You know, and it and it worked out. You know, with the support of John Harrington, uh, John gave me um, he gave me carte blanche. Talked to him about it. He said, "Go do it." Nikki gave me the confidence to do it, and here we are. Oh, that's so pretty, just like you. Nice. Food is fun. Well, why are you hiding? Why are you hiding? It's going to be on TV. I mean, it's all right if I put it on television, right? That's it. Lots of smiles. So you can explain what you're doing while you're uh, working? Oh, it's a little explanatory. It's a nice little watermelon. Yeah. Have you ever seen a cooking channel? If you can't cook, well, I can cook watermelon. Or I do this one. Watch the hands pass and the eyes. Whoa! Hey! Why don't you taste some watermelon? Freshly cut. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. I just passed away July 3rd. Oh, sweet. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. 63 years a member. Oh. Touching moment here. All right. All right, yeah, sweetie. Great. My, my uncle was the president of Local 2 at the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bye.
So I come from a union background, so I know all about unions. Too. So union made, right, right here. <laughs> union made. Yeah, right. <laughs> Born and bred. <laughs> Say hello. Okay, let's turn around. Okay. Say hello, Kayla. Say hello. We're out of the, uh, our Long Island office. Isn't this a wonderful day? Yes. Uh -huh. what, what do you like best about the picnic? The clams, <laughs> right. The clams? <laughs> the shrimp? Right. The shrimp, that's good yes. too. How about the, um, the I mean, just the, yeah. just the people, just yeah, the members and the families. Seen everyone at yeah, a different setting, everything is more relaxed and everyone's having a good time. Yeah, are you having a good time yes, today? Yes, I am. <laughs> well, is there anything else that you'd like to say to the uh, television audience of Local 28? Why, why is Local 28 such a great union? The people make the union. The people make the union. That's right. it. The people it's make the union. Right. And when we're all together like this. Organize and stay together. That's what makes it work. Everybody. That's a woman after my own heart. <laughs> I come from a union background, so I know. I know what it's all about. I have a question. Why do you like his TV show? It's very informative and it keeps you aware of what's going on in the union and all the topics that they talk about and what's happening and all the activities. Oh, that's the reason I thought it was because of me. <laughs> You're part of I, I thought it was because I was on yeah. the show. That's part of it. That's a big part of it. <laughs> Do you think the show needs a new host? No, not at all. Not, not at all. After I watched the last one, it was excellent. The last uh, yeah, there you go. You see? There you go. Uh -huh. Well, ladies. Keep the show going, Ronaldo. That's what counts. That's Thanks what keeps everybody informed. Thank yes. you. Yes. Thank what do you, you think so good about the union? What's good about being Okay, in the you union? have security and you have um, backing and you have salary every week and you know where you're going to work all the time. Whereas if you work in another industry, you don't have that kind of security. So a union is the way to go. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is probably my favorite one out of all of them. I know my daughter loved this one. Big inflatable. Kids are jumping around. But why don't we take a look inside? Let me see if we could take a peek inside to see the kids. See them jumping around? You having fun? This is one that they could just go crazy on. You know, a lot of times kids like to feel free and they like they like this ride for that. Comments on uh, yeah, I want to hear it all. I want to hear how wonderful it is here. It's it's wonderful here. I mean, we got another nice day. God blessed us with another nice day for the picnic. Uh, we've had bigger turnouts in the past. You know, uh, everybody who's here seems to be enjoying themselves, and I know I certainly am, and I'm sure that you are. Yeah, I am. I am. I um. This is like uh, I don't know, just just a nice break from the city, you know. Yes, it is. It's a beautiful area. Yeah, I mean, I know, you know, you, Kevin's on the east side of Manhattan from 14th to 125th, one of the biggest or, and one of the bus busiest areas in the city. To come over here is like, you know, coming that back to the country yeah, again. it's a little bit different. Yeah, <laughs> nice. But you can't get away from the business, so because I'm no, sure people can't. are still talking about, no, you know, things it. and things happening on jobs. But yeah. well, Monday, oh. Monday we'll be back there, but for today, I'll take this. 
All right. I'll take this. Another good day for Local 28. 50-50, Kevin? Uh, yeah, another 50-50. How much? Maybe I'll win something. Last year I won on the biggie. 1500 You won 1500 last year, huh? Six, right? All right. Um, I'll take six. So, two. Three. Oh, it's three. Oh, let me, um, I got to give you more money. I want I wanted six here. Now I can get six. Oh, six tickets. You six tickets oh, here. Oh, I, I have my shirt over there. I got two hot, two shirts. So is this is one of uh, one of these the winning tickets? You know the last guy, the last one, right? the last one. He best it by two numbers. I would have had it, but I bought the last tickets out of the two two more tickets I would have won or, and, and I and or, or the lady that I, I sold it to. All right. Oh, on, a, on a on a light blue tickets, the person who bought who bought them right before me was a winner. I missed by five. All right, let's see who we got over Eddie. here. Eddie Wilton's still busy counting She's money. Let's see, let's let's take a look at let's 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 talk to him for a second. I got the same tickets from the first one. Is that the color? Is that and we and we got Eddie Wilton here, doing what he does best, He's counting money, and 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 cutting up the tickets, making sure everything's okay. We're having a wonderful day. You got the three answers. You got to get the question. Oh, I'm sorry. You got to have the right question. Uh, there he is. Ronaldo and Tim. I'm going to call him a casual, you know. Yeah, what, what happened? Uh, let's go to um, Kevin Brady. See his eye? He sold the losing ticket. So what about it? <laughs> he sold the losing ticket. So you want a 50-50 or what? <laughs> Always a lot of activity around here because a lot of people are trying to get their 50-50s in before. Is this the last 50-50 of the day or is there going to be another one? There'll be one more. The big one. The big one. The big one is after this, so we got to. Everybody's got to make sure they get in on that one. Why, you're not hot with that shirt on? Are you going to buy a 50-50? You want to buy something? Why don't you show off your new hat to Timmy? We got a, a young lady here with a new hat. Look, say hi. Oh, he's kissing you. He's kissing you. What a cute little doggy. Oh, look at that smile. He's kissing you. Oh, isn't he cute? Very nice. <laughs> nice. Let him like your pipe, his belly. Nice. <laughs> hey, hello, Gidget. She loves animals. Yeah, right. I still got a fish Look at the camera. Turn around, Taylor. <laughs> What's your daddy got? Hi. 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 Dance. It's gonna be. It's gonna be disappointing whenever I gotta leave there. Well, what? What? And what would you like to talk about, young lady? Are you having? A uh, good time here in Local 28's picnic? Yes, I come every year. I've been coming for about seven years, eight years. So, in other words, you've been, every year, you've been yeah. growing taller, 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 and you've been seeing, you have you, you have any friends here too that yes. you've, uh, you've seen, you see them every year? Most of the time. Yeah. So they enjoy going here, I guess, yeah, huh? All the rides and uh, free stuff, and you make them make artwork and stuff. That's pretty cool. Even if like you're old, I mean you can still have fun. Right. Back at my table, these old people were dancing to some old music. 
They looked it so funny. <laughs> you mean like old people like my age, right? Like 40? They're more like that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it would look funny to you, huh? Oh. They were snapping their hands. Yeah? Maybe they had a little bit too much to drink. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm glad you think Local 28's picnic is uh, so wonderful. What's your name? Stacy Shannon. Stacy Shannon. And are you a daughter of one of Local 28's members? Yes, I am. And who's the member? Nancy Shannon. She's an office worker. Oh, Nancy Shannon. And what is office does she work in? In Mineola. Oh, in Mineola. That's very nice. Very nice. Oh, that's good. And I wish you the best of luck. And I guess I'll see you next year, right? Okay. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> John, John Lennon, why don't you stop by a minute? I've been trying to, you know, I've, we've been so busy over the summer and we've been, and I've been telling John that, um, you know, what we've wanted to interview you, you know, because you're a very special sheet metal worker. And uh, for, I think right now is an opportunity that we have because we have such busy schedules. Uh, John Leonard has just uh, recently graduated the uh, Local 28 Apprenticeship Program. He's now a working journeyman in Local 28. But one of the things that we spoke about in Comet when we had our Comet class was some of the fears and um, some of the experiences that we've had as uh, apprentices over the four years. And we, we were talking and we took a break and then after the break John came back to me because he had said a couple of words but he wanted to talk about something that was um, you know something that was very important so John I just want to let you talk you know just revisit what we were talking about you know because obviously John is a very special sheet metal worker because he's got one arm and he's got a mechanical arm but he does the job so why don't we just talk about that because this is something that I, I want people to know I had uh, brought up to Ronaldo during our break that uh, I wanted to speak again and it was about the fact that I was accepted by uh, my peers, that I worked as well if not better than some with what I had and I would do well they felt in this trade and it really made me feel wonderful to think of something like that, being that I'm a second generation sheet metal worker, my father was also a sheet metal worker. And it really was something I wanted to bring up to my other peers that were in that class. And the fact that your disability, or if you, we even want to call it a disability right now, I think it's more of a, ch it's a challenge yes. for you. That, the point that we're really trying to make here is that this could really only happen in Local 28. And the reason is that if John were a non-union sheet metal worker or attempted to do sheet metal, believe me, John will not succeed in the non-union field because the non-union wouldn't hire you. They would, they would not give him the opportunity. And because he came through the apprenticeship program in Local 28, the opportunity was there. He took advantage. And you really, you lived up to the challenge. And whoever the critics were before, I guess they must be silenced now because you really proved to I guess yourself and everybody else that you could Absolutely. do it Definitely. so I think what how we should leave it is local 28 means opportunity yes. for everybody as long as you're willing to take the challenge and live up to it yes and you'll succeed yes you will well the best of luck to you thanks for stopping Thank by and we'll see you on the job Definitely. good luck thank you, thank you. Now that that's very special you know, um...
really. It, can, it really could only happen in Local 28, somebody with a dis disability like that. And I, I, I don't really even want to call it a disability, but um, you know, the fact that he could do the job with one arm, that says a lot for him. And um, you know, and I know when he first came into the union, a lot of other members didn't think he would succeed, but he really proved to everybody that he could, and and, and really largely to the help of the members and uh, the support of Local 28 School that uh, he was able to succeed, and he has all the tools he needs to be su a successful sheet metal worker. <laughs> Thank you.